Kia ora and welcome back. Last episode we discussed what all of those letters in the acronym mean and what kind of challenges our LGBTQIA community face in their everyday lives. In this one, we're going to look at representation in the fitness industry. We share a couple of things with you so you can practice allyship to the community both within and outside of the gym to help create a more inclusive world. Change Series 3, Episode 3, here we go. Let's start close to home, group fitness. This is where many of our rainbow teammates have found acceptance, community, strength and confidence. The fitness industry as a whole and sports in general, however, have a longer way to go. There's a disparity in fitness levels and access to team sports between LGBTQIA people and others, particularly for queer women and non-binary folk. And one study found that 80% of respondents had witnessed or experienced homophobic or transphobic behaviour in sport, which is being described as a critical public health issue. And 54% of male athletes admit to using homophobic slurs in the past two weeks. So what can we do to help transform our industry? The fitness and group fitness space into one that is safe and accessible to everyone. Well, who better to tell you than some of our instructors? I think that the biggest change and the most effective, easiest, cost-free change that we can all do is to start off by always introducing ourselves with our name and our pronoun. Hi, my name's Deb, my pronouns are they, them, and then just make that normalized. Just normalize it and use it as much as possible um, during introductions so that there's no awkward assumption on gender or on anything else um, as you move forward in your relationship with someone. I think we just need a lot less judgment, more openness, more willingness to listen and educate ourselves, particularly for allies outside of the community. It's listening to queer voices, hearing their stories, hearing their discrimination, their hardships and validating that and actively challenging hateful speech, whether it's flat out hate speech or it's little jokes and little comments, it's actively challenging that because allies can make such a difference. They can be there when we're not around and they really have the power to make a difference in the community and in the industry in general. Calling in your friends, family or peers can look like a lot of different things. It usually starts with a conversation and one that can be a little uncomfortable. It's so important for us to be willing to have these uncomfortable conversations and educate the people we care about so that this burden doesn't have to continually fall on our rainbow community. Here are some things you can do. Don't be afraid to correct others if you hear them use the wrong pronoun. Call out homophobic, biphobic, and transphobic jokes and microaggressions. As an instructor, be conscious about creating a safe and welcoming space for all of your participants. You want to create a space where you can be yourself and be authentic, but you also want to make sure that all of your participants can feel the same way. Talk to your club about what they can do. Is there a gender neutral changing room? Are there non-binary options on the membership form? Find out. Do the work in your personal life and educate yourself so you can be the best ally you can be. Get intersectional with it. Helping liberate one historically oppressed group leads to better outcomes for all of them. So your work in this space should and needs to sit alongside your work on racial and gender equity, on ageism, ableism, and diversity of size in our industry. From someone who came from the outside, who it feels completely different, and who went through drug conversion therapy, and I think the best thing that we can do is assume that we're all least human. We all deserve a little respect, and we all deserve to be together in peace. One of the ways that actually got me being okay with being gay is when I started to attend group group fitness. This duration of time, there's no judgment, there's no need to care if I offend anybody because of my sexuality. I think it's a place where people can grow without this, this stigma as well. It really, really allows me to be able to be who I want to be and be who I am. And that's it for Change Series 3. We have talked about the history of Pride, 
the progress we have made and what work still needs to be done and how we can help create meaningful change within our industry. It's now up to all of us to take these learnings into our everyday lives and help build a better world. Thank you so much for listening and learning with us. And here's to a fitter, fairer and kinder planet. Yay! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs>